when you see projects like open env you truly think that now maybe ai is maturing we have spent months and months over the last two years obsessing over models rag systems and lot of tooling around that but hardly anyone has talked about the basics how do you actually build ai agents powered by these models that work reliably e2e development has been around for quite some time which is simply end to end that means taking an agent from training to production right now the pipeline is completely broken in my humble opinion for example you train the models or ai agents in notebooks with toy setups and then rebuild everything for deployment and hope it works this is where this new project open env tries to improve things in my opinion there is long way still to go open env is meta and hugging face solving this fundamental problem it's a specification for building agent environments that work the same everywhere for example if you are building some ai agent it should work the same on your laptop on ubuntu or windows or wherever same environment same behavior that is what we want no surprises in this video we are going to install this open env and i will also be showing you an example but more importantly as this is primarily a framework a specification so please try to understand the underlying concept and that will be my focus too this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot also before i move forward i want to introduce you to our very good friends at gradient who have open sourced a project a parallax that is a distributed model serving framework that lets you build your own ai cluster anywhere using heterogeneous hardware including nvidia and apple silicon parallax is not just another local llm runner it is a path to open intelligence providing a system to run large ai models like quen3 to 35 billion locally or across geographies without relying on expensive cloud providers think of parallax as a sovereign ai operating system that puts a user in control and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay coming back to this open env just allow me a few minutes to show you the architecture and then we will move towards hands on and i will install it and show you how exactly this thing works look at this diagram this shows you two layers at the top is your client application your training code for example you import something like eco env or anything and then you get three methods reset step and state simple interface that's all you touch underlying is docker container running isolated environment each container hosts a fast api server with the actual environment logic when you call reset in your code it sends an http request down to the container the container container executes the logic and responds that's the entire flow this separation is very powerful the environment cannot crash your code you can run hundreds in parallel the client can be python while the environment runs in any language it's just http between them now let me take you to my terminal where i have this ubuntu system and i am going to show you how you can get it installed and go from there first step i would highly recommend you do is git clone the repo of open env and i will drop the link to it in video's description and that is done then i'm just going to install fast api and few other tidbits this is going to take a minute and by the way if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus and everything is installed now let me run the gradio demo and then we will uh, access it in the browser and this is what it looks like in the browser when it runs simply speaking all it is doing it is just allowing us to use our ai agent to play this open spiel and open spiel is a deep mind project which i will be discussing shortly in very few words but let's say for example if i just put my action id as one i say maybe i want to play the catch game and then i click on step here so it will just start 
um, you know, giving you the current observation. Maybe I'll just say to my agent to take another step. It is going to start changing uh, some of the steps here, like 0, 1, 2 are the legal parameters. And, you know, this is primarily doing the reinforcement learning. Now, you don't really have to worry about what exactly is uh, happening here. But in very quick words, this is where, uh, you know, we are trying out the open spiel for DeepMind, which wraps six DeepMind games. Behind the scene, we have just put it in a container where all the code execution is being happening. We have a secluded Python environment. You can use TRL, Torch, Forge, a lot of other things. So primarily in this environment, we can train our agent to take different steps and then we will be rewarding it like this, as you can see here. And then from there, um, the model or agent would learn what is the best result. And that is how it is going to learn how the how to play the game. Now, you could, of course, embed a lot of things here. But regardless of what you just saw, the main point is why it matters. AI agents need to work in production, not just in demos. Open ENV provides an infrastructure layer that was missing. For example, uh, you know, its typeface interfaces catch bugs early and the isolation prevents cascading failures and it is secure too. Also, it is standardized and which makes everything reproducible. The specification is still evolving, by the way. Um, there is a lot of community input happening. As you can see, this is a GitHub repo which you can access. You can contribute because it's all about making the development process reliable and production ready. And I think that when this thing really, really become mature enough in a few months time, we can build agents that actually work at scale in production environment in a secure way. And that is the whole uh, idea behind it. And towards the end, I just want to quickly go through this stack. So this is Hugging Face and Meta's complete stack for building and deploying AI agents. At the foundation is core PyTorch and cloud infrastructure with several new PyTorch components layered on top. Uh, Helion for kernel authoring, Torch comms for distributed communication, Monarch for orchestration, and Forge for RL post training with agentic APIs. The trained model or agent at the top can be deployed either to the edge via execute torch or to the cloud via VLLM. On the right hand side, open ENV, which is, uh, you know, you can see it yellow. This sits alongside the open environment hub by Hugging Face, which provides standardized environment for training and deployment with ecosystem support from libraries like TRL, SkyRL and Unsloth. It is essentially Meta's end-to-end -end infrastructure for taking AI agents from training through production deployment. Very early days, I think this is just released like few hours ago, but keep an eye, I think this is going to be as big as MCP, mark my words. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.